What's up? Let's see. Fallbrook's around here. Sublight runs a dirty little joint there. Good place for a drink or a box of ammo if you want to stop in. Albrook's on the other side of the bridge there, if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Dear Clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others to slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. back east are safest. You can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way out.
not keep it down. Sun fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple... That... I should have. I... But soon after they left, and to be honest, after him, I... I st Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but... We've started down this... Now come on, let's make tracks. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over.
tunnel here. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking... Please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've... Something on your mind?
And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the cap? Where's Hiram's home? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take... A coherent enough response, I reckon. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with, and that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book, usually. Go put. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy. realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't.
here's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown.
best we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me, face the intercom. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger... The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone great. I know Nioka is. For I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out? They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Her Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Aside from the bits up, you said you wanted something from me. Something information related. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready.
Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh, if you insist. As I was telling you before, I am the premier broker for all of Monarch. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing Raptodons off your stoop. Careful, I know that line. I use it all the time. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. The bandwidth. There's too much blasted background noise, which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency... Pol the safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop trans... You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vac. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wadsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to... Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the... Ask me what... Not much, admitted. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical... As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that... I do know... There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source, but I am... There are so many members. If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body... MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Look.
They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short sight. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be real. Not in his life. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec... I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat dread. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra One and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the Hazard Clause declaring Terra One uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other... Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relation... Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle. That he is now similar to the original corporate executives they saw. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally... gray. No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be... How low you... Sure. You know where to find me if...
to mention, the iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Right. A manticore. Yeah. He felled it, mind. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is... But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generated now. Stop. No. 
spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still... Surely... Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing... I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. Wait, that's not what... Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Might actually have better reach. People read that stuff all over the... You see? Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodical. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting... I may have worked in the presses once, but the bitterness of being slave to their... Uh, all right, almost. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them. Speaking of which... You bought... rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait. Where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from... Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compact... Wonderful. We can use them to copy and mo... Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but... If there is extra money, would you mind buying... I don't know food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. 